Rob, first of all, uh, happy birthday for Wednesday. Uh, uh, how have you settled in uh, since coming here? Yeah, it's been sweet. Um, great group of lads, obviously, new manager. It's made it very easy for me to settle in, so yeah, it's been good. And we're on a bit of a um, bit of, a, of an up, you know. Um, just got to make sure we keep the keep the feet on the ground and we keep working hard. You, you've been involved quite heavily uh, in, in recent weeks, which must be quite pleasing yeah. given the fact uh, your, your, your lack of game time last season. Yeah, um, been really good. Played more league sort of games already than I did last year, so I can only take that as a positive and keep moving on. As, as we look ahead to, to Wrexham uh, yeah. to, tomorrow, what are your initial expectations heading into the match? They're, well, they're looking good, strong team. Um, my little cousin plays for them, so I know they're a good team. I've kept an eye on them for a while, and we can only expect a hard game. Every game's going to be hard, but I can only imagine that tomorrow would be one of the harder ones. But we'll take it as we would, uh, like Bournemouth last week, and and the games before that. So we expect a tough game, and but we expect to give them a tough game as well. So we're very confident going into it. Uh, how are you feeling personally, having had some time to to re recharge the batteries and and rest following a tough game against Bournemouth? Yeah, I think um, obviously the loss wasn't a right result and was, we weren't happy about it, but I think we played well enough to take the positives out and sort of collect our thoughts and come in Monday fresh and have a good full week leading up to this week's been good. So, because um, we worked very, very hard well, since I've been here, the training's been top, top notch really. So, we've been really working hard, putting the miles in. So, hopefully now settled down a bit this week and we really concentrated on how we want to play and how we want to stop Wrexham and whatnot. So, um, yeah, hopefully all, all the work on the training pitch shows tomorrow. Yeah, as you mentioned it there, that there, were, there were plenty of positives against Bournemouth despite yeah. losing, but what, what were you taking in particular from that, much in, from that match into Saturday? I think we had to be critical of ourselves more than anything. Obviously, we didn't take our chances, which obviously then leaves the door open for them to go and score, which in, in the end they did. I thought it was quite an unlucky goal. Um, Ox has made a mad, a great save, really. Um, and then it's just unlucky that it's deflected off and gone in. But we had to be critical with ourselves, and that's what we want to put right. We don't want to be sitting there thinking we've we've done well, because we haven't, you know. We've still got a load of games left and lots to improve on. With, with, with a quick su succession of games coming up, uh, how important is it that we can uh, get back to winning ways and, and build some momentum going forwards again? Yeah, there's always, like a season's a long time and there's always runs to be made and, and there's always points to be picked up and if you can pick up as many as you can early doors, then perfect. Um, but we're in our position for, for whatever reason and we have to be men about that and stand up to the challenge that's put in front of us. And you're right, I think it's, it's a good time to start a run and obviously we've, in the league, we're on a bit of a run, but we can't sit on the games that we've, we've played there in the past, you know, so we've got to keep building look forward to tomorrow take that on board and hopefully take the positives out of tomorrow into Tuesday and just finally we'll be back in front of our home fans again at the Hive London what have you made of their support so far? yeah been good um, for my first two games I was on the bench I heard, um, heard a lot more seen them a lot uh, a lot more than what obviously when I started last week when I was on the pitch it was good they had a good reception to me and made me feel feel good on the pitch so that's what they're they're good at and I can tell that they're obviously a big part of the club you know when we're in the huddle after the games it's it's nice to hear to see them staying and staying with the team and that's what we want is a big together togetherness not just with the players to the staff but players staff and the fans